Paul, you left me for f***ing dead, bro. You're telling stories about this, about that. I don't know you. I don't have privileges to talk about your life. I don't have privileges to talk about your life. Is that it, Paul? Oh, Maza, I'm sorry. It was back when I f***ing met you. You were PJ. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I don't have the privilege to talk, but I had the privilege to bail you out of jail. Your mother was standing right there. I was standing right here. I looked at her. She looked like this. I had to pull out my fucking credit card out of my pocket. I was 21 years old, maybe you were 25 years old, bro, and I bailed you out of jail with my own money. You didn't have a fucking single family member there, bro. You tell me I don't know who you are? That was fucking 15 years ago, bro. Was that my only fucking day I met you, Maza? So, listen. Paul, I'm sorry, I apologize for my anger issues, bro, but there's a fucking knife sticking out of my front right here. It's making me fucking angry, right? So he manipulated five mics. He's doing this, he's doing that. Bro, guys, I don't really even want to hurt Paul. But if I have to, I have to, man. Unlike five mics, I don't use my fists, bro. My mind is my weapon. Don't fucking sit here and threaten me, bro. And tell me about streets and murder, bro. I'm handling my fucking business. You shit it on my fucking company because you got brainwashed by Mazo or Paul or PJ, whoever the fuck. This man is a man I knew for a long time. I find it startling, bro, how he left me for dead. And so will you. And why? Just wait. Be patient, bro. Five Mike's bought this piece. He's wearing it right here. He wore it in a fucking video. Paul saw him. He knows what the fuck I'm doing. Who made this piece, bro? Me. Yeah, you made this piece because you're a young fucking dude just like Paul was. You're under my wing. Take a look over here about the culture, bro. That's what is it, a fucking quarter of my fucking, of this company that me and Paul were battling for? You saw a dollar sign, Paul, and you left me for fucking dead. Don't fucking play with me. And you know I'm going to make... 10 or 15 more Pauls, bro. And you're fucking running around telling this guy, ah, oh, fuck this. Fuck these kids. You left me for fucking dead after I gave you 15 years, after I paid for your divorce fucking lawyer, after I bailed you out of fucking jail. You lived in my house. I fucking fed you, bro. I gave you a paycheck every two weeks for 10 fucking years. And you told me you did me a favor. I spent a million dollars making you the man that you are today. And you fucking ran off and left me for fucking dead. You left me for dead, bro. But I'm still fucking standing to tell me that I ain't fucking doing it. Is and you're scared of him. And you use this fucking guy. Hey, bro. Hey, listen. Tell me if it's, it's not correct. Yo, man, you got a bunch of fucking kids making you jewelry, bro. I'm an artist, artiste. You got artesian jewelry, water, bro. Yo, bro, I tell you something about jewelry before we go on, because you know you told me, Five Mics, I don't do nothing for the culture. I'll do more for the culture in this one video than you do if you lived a thousand fucking years. Got that? Telling me you're going to fucking kill me and come for me. What the fuck's your problem, bro? Yo, let me tell you something, Five Mics, how it works. Paul is scared of what I'm doing. He knows me. He wants to erase me from his fucking history books, bro. He took that dollar sign. He ran off. He did me in. But you can't beat me. I'm a businessman, bro. I'm not a fucking jeweler. That's a Ninja Turtle. And I'm Master Splinter, bro. That's fucking Karate Kid. And I'm Mr. Miyagi. Wax on. Wax the fuck off. Listen. You take gold. Let's let, uh, teach everybody, not just this or that or here or there. Listen, before I even go any further, me and Paul, we lived, we loved, we laughed for many years, and I'll show you them all. But when it comes to the jewelry business, you take gold, you take this shit, you sit here and you, may, you have a 3D printer over there, you need a guy to do it, you print the shit out of a 3D goddamn printer, you have it to the center. Paul, you set these stones, you enameling it yourself, you're making the model yourself, the what are you talking about, bro? Who are you talking to, dude? The guy who bailed you out of fucking jail? You're telling me I don't know who you are? You're out of your mind, man! 
You should have stayed away from this grizzly piece, bro. Maza. You fucked me over, bro. Left me for dead. I tell you something about customer service, too, bro. You want to know customer service? You want to know customer service? That's my customer. You're his customer. You're my customer. And he's my customer. You're all my fucking customers! Hey, Paul bought these earrings from me when I was a fucking 18-year-old dude starting my business on my own. And he can't beat me in business. He won't. I'm going to fight him tooth and fucking nail, bro. I'm going to fucking hound him down. I don't want to, man. I don't want to swing my fucking death blows and do all this shit. Paul, I don't want to do it, bro. But you've mis you mischaracterized me, man. The thing is, I let it go. The man fucked me over. I'll show you how. In the most wicked way, he did me in, bro. I let it go, but now I got to make my market share. Yo. Water, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You take the raw materials, you fucking make a casting. The bigger the budget, the bigger the piece. This guy, he's 20 years old, Paul's 40 years old. You telling me, all right, take a look at this piece of whatever the fuck you're wearing over there, bro. And you telling me, bro, that he's not in 20 fucking years going to make this shit or two with me backing him up or 10 more Paul's or Mazas or whoever the fuck, bro. I'm going to handle my business, bro. And I tell you how it is, man. Fuck all this shit. I tell you what the fuck is going down. Listen, the guy fucking is scared. He's scared of what I'm doing. He ain't gonna have all that Mazda shit. You stole it, bro. You left me for dead. You told me a lot of shit, Paul. You left me for dead. And now when I just this fucking young dude that I gotta come up and work with is so selling a fucking piece, you rag on it and get this guy to piss on my fucking name. Alright, bro. Whatever, man. Kill me. Do me in. Da -da 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 -da. Full scale nuclear fucking holocaust. Anger fucking issues. Fuck you. Anger fucking issues, bro. Yo, bro. Let's start from the beginning. Paul, customer of mine. I talk to him on the phone every fucking day for forever. He calls me all the time with his problems, with his this, with his that. Young dude, da -de da -de da -de, so on and so forth. Hey, Paul, what was this shirt called? Girls in Jail? You had to turn it inside out at some point. I remember when you walked in to the courtroom, bro. He sit here, you got fucking ripped, so on and so forth. Me and him were best buds. la di da -de, dinner, Paul never fucking pays. I'm starting a fucking business on my own. Paul's hanging out. We love each other. We're friends. We do everything we can. We sit together. He fucking go to uh, whoever the fuck knows. Some point of time, it was Paul came up to, he was going through a divorce or whatever the fuck it was. He needed a new fucking uh, clean break. He came in. I had some problems with my business. I was down and out as a young dude. He came and he backed me up and we fought tooth and fucking nail for years. We fought tooth and nail for years. He's making pieces. He's growing out his fucking hair. I'm growing fucking old before your very eyes, bro. The man says he doesn't know who the fuck I am. He's fucking sitting here. We, I wake up, we drink some water, we go to work, we work for 12 fucking hours, and then we come back home, he's on the couch, and we're trying to get to the hustle. We're in a pit, a poverty pit. Not doing fucking gangster shit, not doing bum shit, bro. Not doing fucking illegal shit. Just hustling, building a business. And I figure out a way to get Paul over the poverty line. He put his faith in me. And I return the favor. I put my faith in him. I took him up. I put him on my shoulders. I spent a million dollars, bro. I fucking debted myself to lift him up and fucking make him Maza or Paul. Get him a long list of clients and every fucking thing he could imagine. And he saw the dollar sign and he left me for dead after 15 fucking years of business, man. And fucking friendship, bro. Growing out his fucking hair and doing what it is. But that's all good. Paul's going to tell you this. Paul's going to tell you that. You ain't going to beat me, Paul. You never will. You never could and you never fucking will. I fucking uh, babied your ego for fucking 15 or however many fucking years, bro. Because you were living in my home and you were down and out. And I was your guardian fucking angel. I did everything I could. I did everything I fucking could, bro. And you stabbed me in the back in the end everywhere. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail. I will fight tooth and nail, bro. So this is how it went. This is real business, right? Let's see how it goes. Let's see what I'm doing here with these guys. Take a look at them real quick. 
Now right back the f to me, and let's watch what the f this is. Our let's gold chains are as good as cash. Visit the site by clicking the link in this post and check out our entire selection. You can give me a call personally. My name is Paul. I'll be My name is Paul. More than happy to help you out and get you the piece of jewelry that you need. All right, Paul, now you try. Our gold chains are as good as cash. Make sure you go to tracksnyc.com and check out the large selection that we have available. My name is Paul. I want to help you directly. Give me a call, tracksnyc.com, and make sure you click on this post. What was that website? Dot com, and make sure you click on this post to go to the website. All right. Almost there, Paul. You almost got it. Listen. I did business with this man for 10 years. I can't even describe the fucking way this guy left me for fucking dead, bro, after all this shit. But I'm gonna try. I'm teaching, I'm building, we're experimenting. Listen, I'm not ever gonna take anything away. He was there, he backed me up all the way. 100% man, and I took care of him. Of course I took on all the expenses, I gave him a paycheck every fucking two weeks. I handled everything I had to handle for my fucking friend. I did, I did, and I did. And the years went on, and we're building. And then I decided to make him a big custom jeweler, bro. I wanted to make him a fucking custom jeweler. I wanted to put my faith in, in him, like he put in me. I wanted to see if he'd fuck me over. And he did. What happened? Well, he fucking sat there. One day, I was in Tokyo. I went for a trip, my only vacation or however much. He was making good money, had the big clients. And he said, you know what, bro? Fuck Max. And he blocked me, man. And he fucking deaded me, bro. And he pretended. I didn't exist. And now he's telling stories of this and stories of that. I got stories to tell. Hey, check this out, man. All right, let's get, be smart, bro. You know, don't, you be smart, bro. You're trying to fucking kill me. The f did I do to you, bro? Fucking telling me to be fucking smart, but fuck you, bro. Oh, sorry, this page isn't available. Miles and you, you blocked me, bro. After all that time, after everything we fucking went through with our backs against the wall, you fucking left me for dead. You fucking disappeared. You blocked me. You came back. You forced me to buy my own shares in my company. And fucking record the conversation? So listen, that's that. What's happening? I have to take my market share back, bro. This jewelry shit is easy to make. If he can make this grizzly pen, I'm trying to explain this to the culture. Every single guy here has made a piece. Everybody who made a piece of custom jewelry, raise your hand. Guess what, bro? I'm not a jeweler. They are. You are. But I'm a businessman. I gave you a paycheck. I took care of you. I guided you. I did everything I could for you, bro. And you stabbed me in the back. And I don't want to do anything about it, man. But you're forcing me because you can't even sell a grizzly bit pendant, bro without somebody fucking shitting on my name. You're jealous of this guy? Threatened? You should be. You stole your prize. You, you backstabbed a friend, bro. Somebody who came into your life and where your family stood, I stepped up. Where you were alone and backed you up. And how did you reward that kindness, bro? You put your faith in me, I put my faith in you. You didn't fucking invest a penny in my business. I gave you a paycheck. All right, well, that's that. So what happened? Well. We'll find out in part two.